my name is Daniel Mendez. I am working for uh, Técnicas Reunidas. I'm the head of the Rotating Equipment Department on the upstream section. Uh, the presentation that we'll bring up today is just a case where we can take advantages between the piping engineers and the, and the rotating equipment engineers. Basically, it's a, it was designed as a piping engineering presentation and you will see how both disciplines can get together in order to get an improvement on the design on, in terms of pulsation. So, and you will see how everybody has something to do and this is the most important because the API gave us a lot of resources in order to make them uh, easy to apply. So this presentation basically we propose a coordinated way of dealing with all the aspects and actions okay consider when the main object is to produce a normal free system okay of pulsation. I said almost because it's almost again impossible to get a pulsation free system when you use a reciprocating compressor or a reciprocating pump okay sorry so it will be explained not only a matter of a designer to address the problem but also there are several ways from early detection of the problem in actions to be taken from manufacturers and users also we will mix here what we will call the interaction between the vendors the piping engineers and the mechanical engineers but let's go to the concept as you might know, just for everybody that uh, doesn't know what about the pulsation comes from, you, you will have here, uh, the pulsation comes from the nature of operation of a pump or a compressor. If you use a piston like this one, where you have a stroke, oh, sorry, and a stroke and an area, it will be moving back and forward as you can be seen here. The process, the fluid process comes, or the, or the gas comes from this, from these valves, okay? enters to the system and it's, go it's going to be delivered right away from here. So every time, and you can see it from here, every time that you can get a complete crank, uh, one turn or, or the crank angle is up to 360 degrees, you will see that the flow that you will go out from the, from the pump or the compressor will be like a pulse. Of course it's more complicated like this because if you have, this is just for a single piston compressor or for a single uh, pump piston okay if you have more than one you will have as many pulsations as you have there correct so pulsation as it is right now is not a, let's say it's not complicated pulsation at itself just produce this a pulse the problem comes when you integrate this kind of system into a piping system and because if you have a pulsation, it will flow directly to the piping. So pulsation, like everybody believes, is in theory or theoretically not a problem. The problem is the shaking force that it will cause when it goes through the system. So when you have a piping, like say, well, let's say, let's suppose that this is the discharge of your system and you have this diameter, okay? When you at the very beginning have such a kind of constraint or you go into an elbow or you move in one direction, the pulse is traveling, as I say in the paper, all around the piping. And when it arrives here, and when it goes here because you have a change of direction and also a change of diameter, is where the shaking force is acting and create the problem of the pulsation. So when you integrate a system like this one, a pump like this one, or a compressor like this one, you have to take in consideration that it's not only a matter of a right selection of the equipment, it's just also a matter of how the system is designed in terms of suction and discharge piping. Okay? So now I already explained you a little bit what are the nature of those uh, pulsations and where it comes from. Now let's see a little bit about where is the, what is the equipment involved. As I already told you, this is a well-designed equipment. I will treat it as a general point because you see, I will treat it general. You have a reciprocating pump, you have a triplex one here, and you have the pulsation at the suction, the pulsation at damper at the, dis, at the discharge. And this is the way that we ask the vendors to supply the equipment. 